Hello there, welcome back. I'm going to make this video very quick because it's actually started to rain. It's a very dull day and I need to get this filter back. So I'm not going to waste any time in this one. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the filter which comes with the Fluval Edge. And it's a pretty straightforward hang on the back filter. So this won't take long. Okay, big thanks to Hakim who sent me this. Unfortunately, it didn't come with anything in it. If you want to see what comes in the filter, I'll put a link to a Fluval video in the video description and in the pinned comment. It basically just comes with a block of foam followed by some filter media. And I think it might come possibly with a carbon pad as well. I'm not sure, but I've set it up very simply. And in my opinion, it's to be the most efficient it can be within the limited space. So let's take a look. Okay, so we've got the standard design. Water sucked up through here. It goes down whoop, into the pump, which sits under here. And then the water comes up through the foams, back out through the media, tips back into the tank. Very straightforward. So first of all, on the intake, I've put a foam. These are available from Fluval, but they're also available from third party sellers all over the internet. That prevents a lot of the muck being dragged into the filter and clogging it up prematurely. I would advise getting one, two, possibly even three of these so you can interchange them and just clean them out as necessary. You'll notice in here, there's some coarse foam. The water doesn't actually get dragged through here, but it will circulate very, very slowly through there. So I've basically just added bits of foam cut into there just to support a little bit more bacteria and possibly create more anaerobic conditions in this bit with a very, very limited flow. Okay, so that's the last one out. And this pipe moves backwards and forwards. So there you've got the full flow. So that allows the pump to suck maximum amount of water in here and that is minimum flow obviously when you've got the sponges in it tends to level out on the maximum flow if you wanted a reduced flow you would just leave the sponges out or just cram them down the side so that's our pump in the bottom i'll lift out this cartridge and show you what's in there because the water rises up through this <laughs> that's a reasonably tight fit and that's good so in there, bear in mind we've got the coarse sponge down there on the intake. So we've got a medium pad and a fine pad. And then after that, we've got a small mesh bag filled with bio gravel. And there's approximately 300 grams in there. Really that fits in there perfectly. Now if you're worried about these little fins on the inside of here, puncturing the bag, just file them off. I haven't filed them off because I didn't ask if I could do that. Hakim might want those left on. So, Hakim, if you're watching this and you're worried about puncturing the bag, just cut those off. There we are, really, really quick, really, really simple. So the reason we went with the bio gravel is just to get maximum surface area into minimal area. And this is very, very minimal. We've got 300 grams in there, plus the foams. Um, and 300 grams would make it suitable for a tank of roughly 30 liters. And that's based on it achieving a full cycle, which is the reduction of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. That would make this setup perfect for the 23 litre version of the Edge. They do a 46 litre version of the Edge as well. I'm not sure you're going to achieve a full cycle on the 46 litre one with this small filter. I cannot really see any way to further improve that and further get more bacteria in there. But if you guys have any ideas, please share them in the comment section. I'll put links to everything I've talked about here in the video description and also in the pinned comment for you to check out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm going to go now because I'm getting very wet. <laughs>